Hey guys, uh, we're going to be doing another wisdom tooth extraction in this one. Uh, this is a patient that had a partially bony impacted 4.8, which had caused a couple episodes of pericoronitis. So we decided to extract it and we were able to do so reasonably simply. Uh, we're going to lay a flap, do some buccal troughing, and then elevate the tooth without having to section, fortunately. Nothing terribly remarkable other than a little bit of uh, faff trying to get the uh, the flap reflected. There seemed to be a lot of fibrous tissue, so it took a little bit longer than normal, but uh, I'll start the footage on this one. Just looking straight out the window and opening as wide as you can. That's good. Yeah, might feel something there. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay, might feel one more. That's good. Doing okay? Didn't feel that one too much? Okay. Okay. And those couple other spots beside the tooth here. And then that will be it for the freezing. Also, I hope you don't mind, I got great scented gloves that uh, I had somebody really wanting me to get, so I got a box. <laughs> Okay, that's lovely right there. Grab a 15 there. So we'll get started here. If you feel anything at all, let me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's use that instead. Full of ideas. I am here. School taught me well. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. Hello. Stay in, stay in school. Okay, away we go. Okay, so that room is loose today from the collar. Oh, shoot. He can't go far. No, he doesn't go far, but I might just go up to the dollar store and get him another. Can't have too many leashes. No, well, that's what I was saying. Like, I used to have one in my car, and then it somehow it got, like, melted. I can't remember what happened to it. Yeah, extra leashes. Extra leashes are like extra sunglasses. Mm. Doesn't hurt to have. Yeah, you gotta have a really ugly pair that you actually don't ever take out of your car. Because <laughs> then they're always in your car if you're desperate. Yeah. You can throw them on. But you're like, ooh, I can't wear these things out. <laughs> like, I got a free pair from Kits when I ordered glasses from Kits. Yeah. And they are, they're really ugly. From Kits? <laughs> Kits. K-I-T-S. What's that? It's like a glasses, online glasses. Oh, I never played it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doing okay so far? That's good. Okay, I'll grab a 15 there. Nope. You already have it. Can't have it. You already have the 15. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, sorry. Yeah, there you go. My it's bad. Like, I know. Oh, Jasmine's not interested?
Got the tissue there. To try again? Yeah. Trying to work on it, guys. Sometimes I feel like, I'm not, I'm, I actually am being serious. I'm not even just trying to be funny. But I think almost it's somewhat better if you're just like assisting versus just like walking, yeah, staring at totally. it. You know, like I actually do think that it changes your perspective because <laughs> it's like you're actually no, doing a task. Different. Versus just sitting there watching it and feels, yeah. And once you start like assisting, you're like, oh, okay, I gotta just focus differently, I think. Yeah. <coughs> no, I definitely think that you're right. So, even what happened to me before I went into dental hygiene, I was just like, stop at me. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Yeah. Once you start doing it, you're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The first, um, extraction that I assisted in dental school. I got queasy. Did you? Yeah, I had to sit down, had to step out of the room. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh your mom, you're like, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It goes away fast, though. Yeah, and I do, I do feel like it's like when you're doing it, it becomes a job versus just like watching something that you're like, nah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really into watching it. Okay, lots of vibration here. I have a lot of surgery, but I have a work with a friend in Brazil and she like loves it. So I would do all the ortho mm -hmm. and she would do all the... Yeah, 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 ortho is so much more pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> for everybody. Yeah. Touch bigger if you can there. Okay. Oh, doing great. Did you make the girls run suicide lines tonight at practice? Did you make them run at what? I said, did I make the girls run suicide lines at practice tonight? Absolutely. Yeah, I think I might. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They're such complainers. Oh, and they're definitely just like, yeah. get money. <laughs> We have rep tryouts on Sunday. Mm. Yeah. 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 Ye
Can you use your uh, debit? I don't know. Sometimes I have it. It would work. Sometimes it wouldn't. It's just it's always a little bit of cash. And then I have my credit card if I need it. I'm only taking, I'm taking out 200 bucks. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to try to spend. But I do, like I have my card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's up to you. It might be in uh, IDP on Friday here, but yeah. I just don't want to guarantee. Yeah. But, Okay, we might have a chance at elevating it there, but I think that um, we'll probably have to section it. Sometimes these teeth have to come out in sections so like we have a good amount of clearance here but um you want a straight elevator and try it? i'll get a uh, step elevator there um <laughs> it's supposed to be in this package we're gonna see if it's gonna come out in one piece which would be nice mm -hmm. um so last you, time you had to cut it up. what's that last time you had to cut it up we did eh did we do the lower left oh we did do that lower left already yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, actually I have Tony's credit card, so we're totally fine. <laughs> Mine won't get us that though. Mine won't get us as far, but Tony's would. <laughs> Tony's would get us pretty far. Because <laughs> he doesn't spend money. <laughs> so his will be ready to go. Lots of pressure. This next little bit here. It's going to come on out of there, little guy. Looks pretty mobile, yeah, as long as there's space for it. Just got to get a little bit of upward. Are you doing okay, Marie? Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna get it. Can't promise. I could um, section a little bit off the museal, or maybe a four step. I might be able to get a get a four step around it like that. Yeah, oh, there it is. There we go. Hey. Okay. So good news. It came out all in one piece, and that is about as smooth as it gets. Won't irrigate there. Can I drop them? No, that's okay. You're going to put the bun fish in there? Um, I think it should be reasonably... I was kind of doing some smoothing as I was going, so it should be fine. Are you going to stitch it though? Yeah. Yeah, just one stitch in there. Yeah. Yay. Yay. That's pretty good. Do you want to keep your two? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll get you a little there's thing. Over here, actually, oh, perfect. Yeah. Oh, I think that there's stuff in that though. Is there? Yeah, that's okay. the uh, ultrasonic tips. I think there's a bunch of them. Unless there's two. Oh, shucks, there's that one. I was looking at that one.
Okay, so just gonna put a dissolving stitch back there and it's gonna fall out on its own in a few days. Oh, uh, he probably won't complain all that much. <laughs> Gaspard, he got really bad blisters on the race. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Poor guy. And now he's got to go roofing. Oh, is he, did he get a job? <laughs> yeah, he's working for Heritage. Oh, they actually kept him? After all that <laughs> shenanigans? I think that was the Jackson's hole. But yeah, no, he's... Oh, you said he went to do a roof and then he... Um... Tell me about it. In Cranbrook? Oh, yeah, I think there was one that they... Yeah, he, he, it was like pretty much finished, so they were like, uh, we don't really need you or whatever. But he did do a project in Cranbrook last weekend. They had him in a hotel and all the workers in a hotel and they pay for their food and all that. Um, I don't think, I don't know if it's critical as long as the needle goes that way. Okay, so that's pretty much a wrap there. We'll snip the suture and then it's pretty much, you uh, have already experienced a wisdom tooth extraction recovery. So mm -hmm. you can expect something similar as, the, as it was on the lower right. Sometimes it varies in terms of the amount of pain and swelling. But, and a lot of that, I find some of the times it's just a matter of luck almost. So, see how you do, but the Advil and Tylenol trick is going to be your best friend. Alrighty, we'll put some, oh, phone call. We'll put some gauze in there, and you can bite down. That's good. Okay. That is a wrap. <clears throat>